What's going on everybody? In this video, we are doing another giveaway. Last time, I didn't let you guys know exactly what we were giving away, but in this video, you're gonna know we're gonna be giving away jigs and some jig trailers. Make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video so you know how to get in on the giveaway. But here's a sneak peek. Here's what you guys are gonna be trying to get. So you guys are all gonna be trying to go after these four jigs and pack of jig trailers. We got a brown and orange, a green pumpkin purple, black and blue, and then my favorite color, black and brown. That's what you guys are gonna be going after. That's what's gonna be given away to one of you guys that are watching this video. So stay tuned to the end of the video and find out how to get in on the giveaway. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching today's video. And today we're out at the lake and we are fishing a drop shot in deep water. Uh, fishing a drop shot's not always the funnest way to catch fish and I know a lot of people would rather be you know throwing crankbaits, spinnerbaits, chatterbaits, whatever but there's just days where the fish just want to eat a drop shot and we got to give them what they want and if those fish are deep we got a drop shot down deep and that's what we're doing today. Um, make sure to comment what your favorite drop shot bait is. Um, I'm planning on using the KVD um, Dream Shot a really cool drop shot bait caught a lot of fish on it i think we will today as well but make sure to check out the full video and comment on what your favorite drop shot bait is um, i hope you learned something new about fishing in deep water using a drop shot So I've been having trouble finding some of those better, bigger bites. And these conditions out here right now, midday, no wind, pretty sunny skies are not helping that cause. But I'm gonna try to fish a little deeper than I have been because I've been catching a lot of fish up shallow in my, in my past trips out here. But hopefully I can uh, fish a little deeper and maybe catch a bigger fish. I don't think I'll get as many bites, but hopefully I'll get better quality. On bit, on bit, on bit, on bit. There's one. That one. Not a good one. Not what we're after. This guy's fighting like crazy though. Fighting like crazy, but you ain't big. Still a little one. And when you're drop shotting in that deep water, you definitely want to make sure that you have the right size weight because having the right size weight is going to maximize the, the amount of action your bait's going to have. It's going to help you feel everything you need to feel. If it's too heavy, it's going to take away action. It's going to take away feeling from your rod. And if it's too light, you're not going to be able to feel everything you need to feel. So you definitely got to play around with it. You know, when it's windy, you're going to have to upsize your weight. Um, when it's calm like it is today, you can downsize your weight, but you definitely still need to feel the bottom. There's a fish. There's one. There's one. Guy. 
Right now my boat's sitting in 19 foot, 20 foot of water, and I'm casting out deeper. I'm sitting kind of on top of a point right now, so I'm dragging that, that drop shot uphill. And sometimes when you're drop shotting in deep water, that's a really good way to do it. It helps you keep bottom contact pretty well, and it's just a good presentation for those fish. I've caught a lot of fish um, fishing uphill on points. When we first started, it was like flat calm, no clouds, bluebird skies, and now it's got a little bit of breeze, a little bit of cloud cover. The bite should be better, but it just seems like this deeper bite just not as good or is not as consistent, but that shallow bite, there's no quality that I can find there. So I'm hoping that I can continue to grind it out deep and catch a bigger fish. Oh, I just got bit again. Yep, there's a fish. Got one. There's one. This one feels like a better one. Nope, it's small. Fighting good. There we go. When we first started, I was using a 3 16th ounce weight. There was no wind, no nothing. It was slick calm. But now that we have a little bit of wind, I decided to go up to a quarter ounce. That way I could have better bottom contact and feel things a little bit better with that wind. Oh, I'm bit. Oh, this one feels like a better one. This one feels like a better one. Maybe this will be our good one. This one smoked it though. Stay on there. Nope. Nope, but he crushed it, that's for sure. He crushed it. As you can see, drop shotting out in deep water can be an effective way to get bit and catch fish. Unfortunately, today, I can't seem to get a big bite doing it, but hopefully that'll change here pretty quick. Just gotta keep grinding out. Hopefully one of these fish will end up being a good one. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. Oh, yep, he's still there. There it is. There it is. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you learned something new about deep water drop shotting. I was really hoping we could put a big fish in the boat, but it didn't end up happening. But we caught a bunch and we got a lot of bites. And that's what's gonna happen when you're fishing deep water, throwing a drop shot, you never know. You might catch a big one, you might get just a bunch of bites, you never know. But I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something new. Please like the video, please comment what your favorite finesse technique is. And I really hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel as well. I'm really trying to grow it and I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe, especially if you like the video and you like my channel, please subscribe. And thanks again for watching. So thanks for getting to this part of the video. Here's how you get on the giveaway. You gotta like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do those three things and you'll get in. So like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel, and you will be entered into the giveaway. And I will be contacting the winner by replying to your comment in the comments of this video on Monday. So make sure to be checking your comments on this video on Monday, but make sure to like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel. That's how you get it in. And I will be replying to your comment 
and letting you know that you won, asking you to email me so I can get your address and send you out those baits. So good luck to everybody that enters and I appreciate it. So thank you ahead of time to everybody that participates in the giveaway. It means a lot to me. Have fun.